We are now going to talk about point plotting on the Cartesian plane. And we're going to start by showing the Cartesian plane and then explaining some features about it. So this is our Cartesian plane. And the Cartesian plane is made up of two real number lines called axis. So this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. And both of these are real numbers, real number lines, just like we've seen before with one-dimensional things. And so, you know, this point right here is 0 and x. This is 1 and x, 2 and x, 3 and x, 4 and x, 5 and x, 6 and x, just like it was a number line. And the other directions are negative. So this is our positive side. This is our negative side. On the same vein, this is our positive y, so positive going up and negative going down. And you'll notice that this breaks it into some nice pieces, four pieces in fact. These are called quadrants. This is quadrant one, two, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And each quadrant has something particular about the x's and the y's. In quadrant one, for instance, you have a positive x and a positive y. Both are positive. In quadrant two, you have a negative x and a positive y. So this is x, y, x, y. Here we have both are negative, x and y. And here the x is positive, but the y is negative. And notice that I'm writing these in a particular order. We also want to keep track of ordered pairs. And an ordered pair is a way of writing the x value and the y value. And so we always put the x first and the y second. So when we're talking about a Cartesian plane, we know that our order is always x, then y. How much left or right, then how much up or down. And you can go either way to get there, but it's a way of writing it so that everyone understands what way to go in. One last thing to talk about is this guy right here, this point where the two axes meet. He is called the origin and has a value of 0, 0. 0 in x, 0 in y. He's right there at the center of our graph. Now, to talk about point plotting, we need some points. So I'm going to add some points here at the bottom. A is at 3, 5. B is at minus 2, minus 3. C is at 2, minus 5. D is at minus 5, 2. E is at 0, 3. And F is at minus 5, 0. And what we want to do is we're going to take these points and we're going to plot them up here on our Cartesian plane. And the best way to think about this is to think of this as addresses, our x address and then our y address. So we're going to come over, we're going to start at x of 3. So we come over 1, 2, 3. And then we go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And where these meet at 3, 5, this is point A with an address of 3, 5. And again, remember this means he's in quadrant 1 and his x and his y are positive, so we can confirm that. Minus 2, minus 3. First we go minus 2 and x, then down minus 3 and y. Here's b at minus 2, minus 3, so we've plotted b now. C is at 2 minus 5, so over 2 and down 5, which is in quadrant 4. We have minus 5, 2, but I'm going to do this one backwards. What if we went up 2 first and then back 5? So up 2 and then back 5. Still gets me in the same place if I've gone back 5 and then up 2. So the order that we do things doesn't matter. It, what does matter is that we do the x th minus 5 and the y at 2. Our last two points, E, 0, 3. Well, 0 means he doesn't go left or right. He just stays right here on the line and he goes up 3. And we say that E, this 0, 3 point, he's not in a quadrant. He's on the y-axis. So remember, this was quadrant 1, quadrant 3, quadrant 4, then quadrant 2. And our y is on the or that E is on the y-axis, and F here at minus 5, 0 is on the x-axis. And so we can tell what quadrant things are in, and we can tell what axis they're on if they're not in a quadrant. And of course, if we were to look at this point 0, 0, we would say that 0, 0, O, is on the origin. And that's our summary of plotting points on a Cartesian plane.